Hello everyone, welcome to EKC 367 Plant Safety. This is a new topic which is a risk assessment and process safety management. In this topic, you will learn about process safety management, risk assessment relating to review of probability theory. Okay, along this theory, you will learn about the interaction between process units, the reveal and unreveal failures, probability of coincidence, redundancy, and also the common mode failures. After you have learned about the risk assessment, there is two another two topics which is event tree analysis and also fault tree analysis. This is the basic of the process safety management. In the meantime, you will also have a small project relating to Gabby software. The Gabby software is a life cycle assessment for the process plan. You will learn this while we will go through along this topic. In risk assessment, there are two topics, which is hazard identification and also the consequence analysis. You already learned about the first part, which is hazard identification. Along hazard identification, you already know how accidents occurs and what is the probabilities analysis. The second part in risk assessment is the consequence analysis where you have to determine the expected damage, loss of life, damage to environmental and also loss of capital. In other words, you already learned how accident occurs through your hazard identification or what we call as a hazard. Now we will look further into what is the probability analysis of this incident. Along this topic, you will learn how to calculate all these probabilities. After that, there will be some extension to determine what is the consequence from this hazard. This is what we call as a risk control. After risk assessment, there is a risk control for all the hazards that we have identified. There are four parts of risk control, what we call as a risk avoidance, risk retention, risk transfer, and also risk reduction. For risk avoidance, it is a conscious decision where we try to take this step to avoid completely a particular risk. In other words, the risk avoidance usually will be done by a worker or operator where they take the decision through their experience okay the next part of risk control is the risk retention what we call as a risk retention is the risk is retained and the consequent loss is financed by the company the third part is the risk transfer which is more on legal assignment of costs for the risk transfer, usually the risk already have been identified and a certain potential losses have been determined. So, the owner or the, uh, the company of the plan will make some a legal assignment of cost. Okay, this is uh, actually uh, similar to the insurance. Okay, where the uh, plant owner 
okay, or the plan itself, take the insurance to make uh, a collateral for this risk. Okay, so they transfer their risk or the potential losses in the plan from themselves to the another party. The fourth part of risk control is what we call as a risk reduction. So the risks are systematic, uh, systematically reduced through control measures. So this is the active part of how we can make a risk control. So through the combination of risk avoidance, risk retention, risk transfer, and also risk reduction, we could make the risk control and also the risk assessment as a part of process safety management. So, in other words, Process Safety Management System or PSM is a comprehensive management system where it takes a proactively action or steps to avoid the incidents. So, how they avoid the incidents? Process Safety Management takes or integrates different aspects of risk such as risk avoidance, risk retention, risk transfer, and also risk re reduction and put all these risks or the hazard under the control of management. So when the risk or all these uh, hazards have been determined and uh, have been identified or determined, then they have been put under the control of management or PSM so it will create or provides a dynamic environment this dynamic environment will ensure that the safety impacts or the safety impacts of techno, uh, uh, technology the personnel and also the management have been covered in other words process safety management is a big step uh, comprised of risk assessment and also the risk control and put under the control of management so along this topic we will learn next what is the probability of the incident and how we can see the reaction or interaction between the incidents before we going for the fault tree analysis and also the event tree analysis